sure chocolate and roses, they're great. But if your love language happens to be pasta, you are going to swoon over this heart-shaped noodle paired with a perfectly pink sauce. There is a lot to love on that plate. Our friend Elena Davis joins me in the kitchen to share. I think I was talking about you, love language pasta. Yes, it just <laughs> goes together. I mean, <laughs> goes together. Yes, that's, that's what I'm all about is Pasta you. equals love. I say it all the time. So <laughs> on Valentine's Day, we better have some pasta on the table. And in fact, we were going to do a totally different recipe today. And I posted these stories on the pink sauce with the heart pasta with my daughter. And it just, it kind of went crazy. The internet did a backflip. Yeah, it just turned around. And so... I just talked to Maddie and she was like, I love it. Let's do this. This yes. is going to be great. You have to share the love. Yeah. The pasta. Yes. Love. Yes. Oh, look at your little cutie and there. So All smiles on her shirt, on her face, because pasta is going in her mouth. Oh, look. oh, <laughs> cutie. Okay, so it starts with so. the noodles. How are you getting those yes. shaped noodles? So noodles, did you know it's not called noodles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who have I offended and, and how? What? Okay. What? So we call it pasta in Italy and noodles is for Asian cuisine. Oh, I'm so sorry. No. Look at me. <laughs> All culturally offensive. No, I think I'm the only person in Utah. You <laughs> well, guess what? I'll never make that mistake again. Hmm. Corrected. It's not really offensive, but it's just. Let me rephrase I only, the question. I only say pasta. Fine. But. Let me rephrase the question. Where are you getting the shaped pasta? Yes. Okay. So there's a few different places. There's World Market. After those stories, they kind of sold out, mm. but they might be back in stock. I'm not sure. Um, Harmons and Trader Joe's sometimes have them. And if you don't want to leave your house, I have a link for this exact kind. Okay, um, great. Which you can find on Amazon, and it will be here before Valentine's Day. And the kind that I have linked is all hearts. So this one is a mix. It has um, flowers and hearts. But the one that I have linked is all hearts. I think it's so fun and cute just to acknowledge you can change the whole theme of a meal by the shape of your pasta. So I've started doing that. Yeah. There's there's just, there's some fun different shapes out there. There's little ballerina ones. Cute. And so we had this little dance night. Anyway, so it's just make mealtime fun. Yes. Make your kids want to come to the table. Yes. And like we were talking about earlier today, I think building relationships and conversations is so important. Dinner time and food is a great way yeah. to center that. Well, and that is the easiest mom win in the world, right? To, oh, yeah. To shape the, it's, the it's pasta. Awesome. So we could talk forever, but uh, we got to get cooking. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What do we got? So, okay, so I've made a basic sugo, um, and it's just, we have, actually, it's a little bit different, but we have some onions, some tomato, um, red sauce, and we have a little bit of tomato paste. And what makes it pink is our drizzle. Um, heavy drizzle. Mm, I was going to say, that's that's my kind of drizzle, especially when cream's involved. Yes, yeah. so um, all the kids can answer, what does red and white, what <laughs> color does red and white make? Oh, stop it. First this so, meal was connective, now this meal is educational. Yes, so it's this is a fun one to make with your kids. It's mm -hmm. so dang easy, mm -hmm. and they just, I mean, you saw Claire, she's just helping me on the counter. It's just so fun when you get them involved. And well, so, I'm scared to ask, because you're the authentic here, no, but have you been to okay. Mama D's in Newport Beach? They're famous for their pink sauce. Yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So, and people call this salsa rosa. Mm. Rosa's pink. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people on the internet know this as vodka sauce. Oh. Because they put um, vodka in it. Okay. So that is optional. Um, and it, of course it gets cooked off. It just adds another depth of flavor. Yeah. Um, but we're not doing that. So we're adding the cream on low heat. We don't want it boiling or mm -hmm. it'll separate. Mm. So that's a little trick there. Keep it low. And then we add um, plenty of parmigiano cheese delicious and there and then we'll add some on top too and there's some fresh basil in the sauce so Yum. there's all sorts of stuff I am not sure what kid won't like this so it's kind of a guarantee I think I feel that way um, too and it's fun if you're if you're having valentines at home with your kids or if you want a way to celebrate them and you're going on a date night or whatever mm -hmm. um, I think this is fun awesome. and so I've made our pasta and you add the pasta Here. to the sauce? Yeah, and mm -hmm. you add the pasta. So like I said, this one has hearts and other things. Yes. Um, but you can, Ooh, so you're Elena. just gonna kind of let that simmer. Amazing. You're gonna cook this al dente and it's gonna finish cooking in the sauce. Okay, Valentine's dinner is served thanks to our dear Italian friend. How do we get more recipes from you? Cucina by Elena.com. I'm on Instagram every day. So DM me, find me there. I'd love to connect with you. Cucina by Elena, Cucina's Kitchen in Italian.
a great follow. It, she'll inspire you to cook the right way, the real way, <laughs> and the delicious way. We love her for that. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. We'll link you over from our website.